Now that we've got a good understanding of navigating the document, and that's something you're going to do all the time, it's going to become second nature to you. Now let's take a look at selecting text within a document or selecting content within a document. Now I've got an example file open in front of you and do feel free to download this file. It comes with this lecture right here. It's called 04 Word Selecting Text. It's a .docx file. And I've got some of the common ways up above, a little bullet list right here, of how you can select text within a Word document. And feel free, download the file and try this out. So double clicking, this is all with the mouse, double clicking, triple clicking, click and drag, and then I got some keyboard shortcuts as well to help you select text. Let's try some of these out. So first, a double click. I want to be able to select a specific word, maybe to make it bold or delete it or italicize it. Do something with it. I might come down here and I can say, let's say like powerful. I want to make that bold. It's powerful, right? So I jump in here, I just give it a double click, it selects it, there it is, and it gives me a little IntelliSense menu here. This was introduced back in the 2010 edition of, of Word, and I can make it bold, or I can italicize it, or do whatever I need to with that selected word. Now again, that was a double click. I double click a word, and it selects that word. There's one. Number two, triple click. Now this one, you might recall earlier, I was able to turn on the formatting marks or the paragraph markers. And this one, a triple click, will jump from wherever you triple click out to grab a line of text or wherever it finds that paragraph marker at. Let me turn that symbol back on for a moment. I go back to my home tab and I turn on this little backwards P button, your formatting marks. Now remember these little backwards P's that show up everywhere? That denotes where you hit your enter key. So if I jump into a paragraph and I triple click, one, two, three, it jumps all the way out to where it finds that paragraph mark. Okay? And it selected the entire paragraph. Well, what if I come down to this line, triple click this line? I do a triple click, whoop, three clicks, and it's jumped out all the way to where it found that backwards P, that paragraph mark. Okay? So you want to build a to make an entire paragraph bold or change its font or its color or its alignment, whatever it might be, triple click. Really quick, efficient way for you to be able to jump out and grab an entire block of text. Now click and drag. This is a pretty common one. I just want to be able to select a specific line of text or maybe a specific set of words. So I come into here, I'll find a spot. I just place my cursor there. Here I am right before the word video. I'll left click and just drag click and drag. I'll just get this one sentence right here. Video provides a powerful way to help you pr prove your point. And then I can make it bold or change its color or whatever I need to do with it. But just a simple click and drag, find where you want to begin, click and then drag to your end point. That's it. All right. Now again, multiple ways to do just about everything. You'll use some of these techniques actually much more than others. I do double clicks all the time just to be able to grab specific words that I need. And you know what? You can also do this. If I double click a word such as powerful, I can then hold down my control key. And let's say I also I want to make powerful bold. I also want to change professionally. I want to make that bold as well. So I can double click that. And I can select holding down my control key, I can select multiple words. So I come down here and say, let's say elements and uh, styles and theme. I want to make that all bold. So I hold down my control key, go through and double click through my document, and now I can make all these changes at once. Make it bold, italicize it, change color, whatever I need to do with it. Okay. Remember your control key. All right, that was really using my mouse. And for me personally, I use that all the time. Click and drag, double click, probably the two top ones that I use. Now, another way to do this is using keys on your keyboard. Let's see, I want to grab this video provides a powerful way. I just place my cursor directly to the left of video and if I hold down my shift key and then use my arrow keys and the arrow is going to denote which direction you want to select. If I hold down my right arrow key, this will select a letter at a time. Every time I hold down my shift key and press my right arrow. I can always go back, oops, I went too far, and then subtract from that selection. 
So just your, your shift key and your arrow keys, whatever direction you need to go. Now that selected a letter at a time. I want to be able to select an entire word at a time, like it video provides A and so on. Well, now I'll do control shift and then use my arrow keys. And this will jump a word at a time, or essentially it'll find where the space is at. And then I'll jump to that. Control shift and then use your arrow keys and you can go back and subtract. If I hit my down arrow, this will jump all the way down, grab everything, I can subtract that back out. Control shift and your arrow keys to help you make selections. Now I'm gonna give you one more technique. I didn't write this one down into the screen here, but it just popped into my head. Uh, and it's actually one that I use quite a bit of as well. Off to the left of all of my content, I've got my border or my margin. And right now I've got a pretty, pretty wide margin on this default Word document. But you'll notice when I move my mouse over there, it changes shape. I've got this little arrow kind of pointed to the right. Now if I left click out there, I can grab single lines. All I'm doing is going to the border and just clicking, grab that line, delete it format it, do what I want with it or you can left click and drag out there and that'll allow you to select make selections as well now something really neat and this was introduced back inside of the I want to say it was the 2007 edition of Word you can also grab single lines or click and drag but then use your control key to grab multiple lines or multiple selections and I love that feature I've gone through documents where, oh, I need to format this area and this area and this area, and I do need to do it all the same. Maybe if it's, it's even on completely different pages of the document. Page one, I need to make this section blue. On page 20, I need to make this section blue. On page 50, I need to make this section blue. Don't do it one at a time, but grab the section, hold down your control key, go down to the next page, grab that section, and so on, and do all your formatting at once. Make it really quick and efficient for you. All right, so you got a few techniques. And I want to encourage you, try this out. Get in there, double click, triple click, click and drag. Use the shortcuts on your keyboard. Use your margins, whatever it is, right? Get familiar with these techniques. Speed up, become more efficient as you're selecting text within a Microsoft Word document.